day's wages. So somebody worked all day long and they earned one of these coins. That's what they got paid. So do you think it was kind of worth looking for when the lady realized that she was missing one of them? Yeah, I think so. It was precious to her. And I have another account about the lost sheep. So, Jesus told this parable as well. Some of the most hated people in the land often came to hear Jesus teach. They were known to be cheaters, people who lived openly in sin, or lying tax collectors. And sometimes Jesus would even eat with these people. The religious leaders thought this was awful, and they were very angry about it. They thought he should stay away from such terrible people. Once, they asked Jesus why he was often seen in the company of such wicked people. Jesus told this parable. There was a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. One day, one of the sheep wandered away and got lost. The shepherd immediately left the other 99 behind and went to look for the sheep that was lost. When he found it, the man placed it on his shoulders and carried it home and put it to rest with the flock in the safety of the fold. He then invited his neighbors to come and feast with him to help celebrate the lost sheep being found. The man was happier over finding one lost sheep than over the 99 who had not strayed. Jesus wanted the scribes and the Pharisees to know that there is greater rejoicing in heaven when one lost soul comes to God than over the many faithful who never strayed from him in the first place. So, how many of you have ever been lost? Have we ever been lost? Yes, some of us have. Um, how did you feel when you were lost? You can just shout out some things to describe how you felt. You were afraid, sad, anybody else? And did your mommy or daddy find you? Yeah. How did you feel when you got found? Excited, excited, yes. Now, why do you think your mommy and daddy or daddy went looking for you? That's right. They care about you. And I have a story. One of my children was lost one day. I don't want to tell you who, but the name rhymes with Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> and we were about to start church, and I play in my praise band. And so we, we start the service at 830, and I realized that I could not find Catherine. So guess what didn't start at 830 that day? We didn't start the service. She was safe and sound, um, but I went looking for her. That's exactly right because I care about her because she's precious to me. I did not say, I've got another kid. <laughs> I went looking for her, and God treats us the same way. He has all of us on the planet, and he doesn't ever say, you know what, I don't need to go looking for Sarah. She's straight off, but I've got all these other faithful children. No, he loves us so much, and we are so precious to him that he goes looking for us. No matter if it's just one, even if we don't think we're worth finding, God always thinks we're worth finding. And that is the very thing that we call grace. We don't earn it. We can't do anything to make him love us anymore. He just loves us because he does and because...